What's up guys, Starlink here. Check this out. A new Game Boy game in 2017 called Tobu Tobu Girl. Now, you don't usually see a Game Boy game. You see plenty of homebrews of like Super NES and NES games, but you never see a Game Boy game. At least I've never found one yet. This is the first one I've discovered, but I haven't really looked for one. But this one's this one's pretty cool. This is like um, a jumping type game. You would you would find something like you'd find on your smartphone or tablet kind of game but it's not an endless jumper I wouldn't call it that because it actually has stages that get progressively harder and you know the general gist of the story is is like is this girl that her cat gets stuck on a balloon or she ties her she ties her cat to the balloon I guess and she actually starts uh, she lets go of him by accident or something starts floating off in the air and I guess she decides to jump up literally jumping up and floating to get up there to grab him and boosting off of other creatures and animals and stuff. <laughs> Pretty funny uh, story and stuff. It actually has it inside the uh, manual and stuff, like a, a, the manual in the download as well as a physical copy you can get. Now, they ran out of the first batch. It's, it was sold out. This, this released on December 3rd, but they're planning a second batch that's to come out soon. They're just saying very soon. And if you want to be notified when it comes available, you can send them an email. It has an email link right here. So that's pretty cool. But look at the box art. Look at this. I mean, this is it's based off of Japanese box art, like a box and everything. It comes with a manual, the sticker, the game card, and everything. It looks, I mean, it looks pretty cool. And it is all put together. You know, it's pretty cool. I mean, I like the art. I mean, I looked at the manual, too. So yeah, I downloaded this. So you actually get to have, uh, let me tell you about that, the download link. If you don't even choose to buy the physical you can download the link there's a download link down here and you can play it off of any Game Boy emulator and you can donate some money to these guys too they even have a donation page and uh, you can get the soundtrack off of Bandcamp so I right here a download link it's pretty nice but anyways this download comes with everything I think I have it let me see here look at my Game Boy see I downloaded this it comes with PDA PDF file for the uh, see here yeah see it comes with the box art PDF file print out for that also the manual you know and as well as a sticker for your Game Boy cart and the ROM itself right here pretty cool pretty cool stuff so it comes with everything you need to even make your own uh, Game Boy cart if you wanted to a repro cart they allow you to have do that themselves they don't I mean you can download this for free but they give you the option to donate, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, I, I donated a few bucks. I mean, why not? <laughs> it's pretty awesome. But uh, the physical release is actually around 40 US dollars. This is a European company that tried to do this, uh, that made this. But I think it's around 40 bucks translated over to US from Euros. I'm not quite sure on that because they don't give you, I don't think they give you a, how much a price is on this page. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know I saw it somewhere. It was in an article Kotaku did. So I discovered this, but uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I actually played a little bit of this myself. I had some fun with it. I mean, a, lot, a lot more fun than I thought I would. Um, it has like five stages of jumping around and just <laughs> trying to get to your cat. Now, I haven't completed the final stage, but I don't know. Enough practice, I could probably get it because it's just like it's not too different from a platformer. You just keep boosting off of these other creatures. But anyways, that's pretty much it right here. I mean, I'll cut off this, and I'll show you to some gameplay footage in a minute here. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So this is Tobu Tobu Girl. A lot of production that went into this Game Boy game here, this Game Boy homebrew. And we've got a little opening here. Poor kitty run up and float off into space. Why would you tie your cat to a balloon anyway? Crazy kids. Well, let's bust this out. And for reference, I am playing this on a Retro Freak. So, the Retro Freak is, uh, uses the same emulators as what the Retron 5 uses. So, if this works on here, it should run fine on the Retron 5. You have a physical cart and play it on there. Right, here we go, level one, the planes. Oh, this is what it consists of. You 
boost. You get three times to boost. Three times to boost. You collect these timers to extend your clock, which is up in the uh, upper right-hand corner up there. Shows up as black. But if that depletes, you die or you lose. You have to start the level over again. Ooh. But yeah, you can get pretty crazy with the boosting. You want to avoid those spikes you see there. Jump off the bats, the birds, other creatures you run across. Looks like there's a little glitch on the side there. That might be a retro freak problem here. My retro freak emulation. Probably doesn't happen on the real cart. Let's say you get up there to the portal at top. That's the stage completed. Let's see my time on this one. You even have high scores you can try to beat. Attempt to beat here. Rank C. Yes, I've never gone above rank C. That's because I suck. Ah, look at that. That's my. That's the worst one yet. So that's that's another benefit of collecting the clocks, I guess, because they extend your time. You get up there shorter, even on the lower stages. Let's try out another one. Let's try out one more. The cloud section. But yeah, this is it. You just keep boosting. You can float too. See, you got uh, there's a meter down below on the lower right hand corner. And if you use a floating meter that lets you fly, that depletes. Now you can fill that by on creatures. You can dive bomb them. Whoops. By holding down an A. You float with the B button, by the way. But that's how it restores your meter a little bit. See so when you dive bomb them. And these guys right here, these octopus alien things. You pretty much have to dive bomb them to get a little bit of boost in the air. Well, I'm running out of time. I'm going to... I'm going to suck. I'm not going to make it. Oh, boy. Oh, man. It's not... This is going to be a doozy. Oh, no. Ah, see how you automatically explode when your timer goes out. It's kind of messed up. But yeah, this is all the game is. I mean, it has uh, five stages, I think. I'm into the space stage. There's like an extra stage you unlock after beating the space stage. But the space stage is rough, man. I haven't beaten that one yet, but... Come close, but I haven't beaten that one yet. And when the higher up you go, you can't fall back down, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, the music in this game, it's all 8-bit. It's pretty catchy, though. I like it. See if I can try to beat this one stage for you guys. Oh boy! Oh son of a big boy! Oh, that's bad. All right, <laughs> I'm getting a little excited here. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, run out of boost! Be careful, you! Oh, that was bad. I was almost at the top, too. See that little flag that marks you on that section? There's like a bar. You see your head on the bottom, and that gradually goes up as you go. It marks a flag where you last died, so you get to see how far you made it. This kind of, you know, encourages you to keep playing, I guess. This is surprisingly addicting, though. You think, like, eh, I wouldn't care about this. Whoops. <laughs> but then you're like, man, just one more try. I want to try to get up there to the top. I can do this, even if I die. <laughs> one of those kind of games. But yeah, it has a very uh, smartphone, tablet type gameplay feel to it. You know. But that's what a lot of Game Boy games were like back in, then, in the day, so this isn't too much from what a game would release back then. It would be like. But yeah, this is pretty fun. I mean, for free, I mean, this is this is pretty cool. Ooh. Alright. I did it! Yay! That's it. We'll end it there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Tobu Tobu Girl, guys. I mean, this is a pretty charming little jumper, I think. And the story is humorous. If you look at the manual. <laughs> but, pretty cool. I suggest you check it out. And that's the game, guys. And if you're interested in downloading and playing this game for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. And I suggest if you want to have a shot at the uh, physical copy, send these guys an email, keep an eye on your inbox, 
and jump on it as soon as you can because the first batch sold out pretty quick. So I wish you luck on that if you have a chance at getting it. But rest assured, if you miss out on that, the download link, it works on at least a, on my PC's emulator as well as the retro, retro Freak. So I know it'll work on, if you happen to get a hold of the cart, it'll work fine on the Retron 5 or if you happen to get a reproduction copy elsewhere in the future because the Retro Freak and the Retron 5 again have the same emulator so they'll run just the same as what you saw me playing but regardless guys if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up or heck even give it a thumbs down either way but regardless I'll see you guys later take care